Well, howdy, friends. Brian Fleshig of Mad River Outfitters in the Midwest Fly Fishing Schools, and welcome back to another one of our fly fishing tutorials. As always, we appreciate you being here. If you like what we do here on YouTube, be sure to subscribe and remember to smash that like button. That just makes us feel good. So today what we're going to do, I'm going to take a few minutes of your time or maybe a few more than a few uh, and revisit the subject of tippet rings. And today we're going to throw in um, another variation on that, so to speak, and that is the micro swivels and the part that they can play in your leader construction or we might even call it leader preservation. So, you know, uh, on our original episode on tippet rings and how to attach them. There was a fair bit of controversy on the method that I showed um, and we're going to talk a little bit about that but there was also some question on what the heck is a tippet ring for uh, and we'll again touch on that a little bit. So uh, first off a tippet ring is literally a tiny little ring that <clears throat> allows you to attach that ring to say the midsection or call it the butt section of your leader and then attach tippet using a simple clinch knot usually to that ring so that as you're cutting back your tippet and then you need to add more tippet you're not then cutting back into that midsection and eventually chopping back that leader to the point where you have to either rebuild it or replace it. And these are very, very useful. We sell tons of them. Uh, we have this uh, Angler's Image brand and also Rio makes uh, some tippet rings in the trout version and they also have a little bit larger steelhead version uh, which is for heavier duty type stuff. Um, and we do carry them all here in the shop. But first of all, um, again, tippet rings are really useful and I use them primarily for nymph leaders. Um, uh, some of the controversy, let's talk a little bit about that. I think I mentioned that I don't love them for dry fly leaders. And, and I don't, and I'm gonna stick to that. I don't use them for dry fly leaders. I don't feel the need to. Um, a lot of times I'm using poly leaders or furled leaders anyways, so I don't need them. And then I don't like, me personally, I don't like how they kind of slap down on the water. And I've had many, many conversations with a lot of folks since that video came out and they uh, wound up agreeing with me. They never realized it, but after I mentioned that, they went out and fished and, and found that the tippet rings tend to slap down on the water. They'll hit the water first and they really kind of hinder how that dry fly leader works. But the cool thing about this is that this is America. It's America. And you can do it if you want to, that's fine. I don't, I don't typically recommend them uh, for dry flies uh, to folks here in the shop or if they call us on the phone or send us an email. Um, but you can if you want to, that's fine. Um, I use them for nymph leaders and we'll talk a little bit about that. I'm gonna show you a really cool and simple nymph leader formula that utilizes a tippet ring. Now the next thing, um, be aware that these tippet rings come on a snap swivel. They literally come attached onto that swivel. Worth noting, we get quite a few phone calls and emails from people that buy these from us and they say, hey, I ordered tippet rings and you sent me a snap swivel. Well, if you look closely, for example, get your magnifiers on, you'll see that the tippet rings are on the snap swivel. Now, the way I do this is you're just gonna take that snap swivel off. I've got a little tether in my leader wallet where I attach this snap swivel. So I've got these and it's <clears throat> basically just a piece of monofilament that's inside my leader wallet, inside my vest. So that I can easily pull that out. It's on a tether so I'm not gonna lose it. And then the way I attach these is I grab my hemostats and I grab the one closest to the end and I grab it with the hemostats, okay? And that way I get a really positive grip 
on it, and then I can pull it off the snap swivel, and then I can easily tie my tippet on, and then I've got something to pull against to tie that knot. This method has worked well for me. In fact, let me just go ahead and do it, and we'll pull out a piece of Maxim Ultra Green here, thread it through, and this way it's it's a lot like tying on a fly. I get a really positive grip. I tie my simple clinch knot there. I moisten the knot, of course. I moisten the knot and cinch it down. Now, <clears throat> if you don't have this positive grip of having it in the hemos here, remember that when you're cinching a clinch knot down, you never pull on the, the tag end. You only pull on the standing end. But with most hemos, I can get a very positive grip. It holds on to that tippet ring, and I get a really nice knot. I have really positive grip, something to hold on to, okay? If you're trying to hold on to the tippet ring by itself to tie this knot, well, good luck with that. Now, a lot of critiques were that the hemostats were going to damage the tippet ring. Friends, uh, they're not going to damage the tippet ring. And most of your hemostats have non-serrated tips to them, so you're not going to hurt that tippet ring. It's absolutely not a concern at all. Um, you know, a lot of question was um, that you should thread, you should thread the tippet ring while it's still on the clip. And again, it's America. this is America. You can do that if you want. That's fine, and if it works for you, great. I've always just had trouble getting it in there, okay? I can't see the, the hole as well. And then when I, go to, when I go to pull it off the clip, okay, I have a little bit of trouble, and I really don't have as positive a grip to tie that knot and to cinch that knot. Uh, even if I left it on the clip and tried to tie the knot, it just doesn't work as well for me. So, you know, for crying out loud, try it both ways and see what works best for you. But like I said, I always reach in and grab the last one with my hemostats, slide it off, get a real positive grip of the hemos, and tie it on, okay? Uh, but again, you can do it however you want, but try it both ways and see what works best for you. So again, that tippet ring will go at the end of my midsection on my leaders. If you're buying packaged leaders, okay, you can always kind of run your fingers along that leader and find out where the tippet ends and you start to feel it get thicker. You can simply cut right there, tie your tippet ring onto that midsection, tie that tippet back on, and then as you cut your tippet back, add a new piece of tippet to that tippet ring, you're not cutting into the midsection. Theoretically, you could have that midsection on there for months, maybe even years for that matter. But another product um, that has kind of recently been creeping back into fly fishing. When I was a kid back in the 80s and 90s, uh, we used to use the swivels a lot. And scientific anglers has kind of reintroduced these micro swivels um, I was always buying them from regular tackle shops, but now you can get them at fly shops and of course at madriveroutfitters.com. But they're literally little fly fishing sized micro swivels. And I absolutely love these things. I use them for almost all of my streamer leaders these days, and I use them for almost all of my bass fishing. Um, even pike and musky fishing, although I, I, I typically don't need them as much there. But um, the, the swivel uh, is basically two tippet rings with a swivel in between. And they come in these little cups with this as I do the tippet ring. I grab onto them, of course that's going to entail putting the glasses back up. And I grab onto one of the rings, get a positive grip on it, again you're not hurting it. And <clears throat> I can tie that in between the midsection of the leader and the tippet. And what this does, especially for larger bass bugs, okay, big wind resistant hair bugs, say like a, a Dave Whitlock's fruit cocktail or an umpqua swimming frog, or a, a even weighted streamers, a lot of the Kelly Gallup type stuff, they can tend to twist a leader. 
and the swivels will prevent that from happening. Also in the back of your head, you might be thinking that it's going to allow a bit more freedom of movement for that fly as well, which very well could be true, um, but it does prevent the tippet and to a certain extent the midsection of the leader from twisting on those heavy flies that can be challenging to cast. So let's say that you're, um, you're fishing streamers and you're buying your leaders, some of the best uh, streamer leaders on the market these days for floating lines. I love the big nasty leaders from Rio. And again, you're just going to take that big nasty leader, which is six foot in length. So you're going to figure that about a foot of it is probably tippet. And you're going to figure out, you're going to figure out where, probably right about right about there maybe a little bit more than a foot on here maybe about 18 inches or so is uh, let's call it tippet and in this case it's 12 thousandths tippet which is of course bigger than 0x and that's about the least in diameter that I'm going to use for average bass bugs or for uh, almost any large modern or articulated streamer so you're just going to cut right there with your snips. You're going to tie the swivel onto now your butt section and then reattach that piece of tippet. You're going to have an appropriate stiff uh, 12 thousandths tippet in your vest or your sling pack or kit bag. And then as you cut back and your tippet's now that long, you can simply tie onto that swivel um, to reattach your tippet. And once again, this butt section may well last you all season for that matter, as long as you don't damage it or, or get it hung up or anything. So the, uh, the micro swivels from Scientific Anglers, they come in two different sizes. There's the uh, 25 pound, and that's gonna be for your smaller type stuff. And I usually wind up finding myself using the larger of them, the 40 pound, um, just I think a little bit safer. Um, and one of, the, one of the, the negatives that people might say, especially if you're fishing a hair bug or even a popper for bass, is yes, they are gonna be prone to sink a little bit, but that's okay. With a popper, I'm not overly worried about my presentation. And then if that portion of the leader does sink just a little bit, guess what? You're gonna get a better pop out of a popper. You're gonna get a better dive out of a diver. It doesn't bother me whatsoever. And of course, off of a sinking tip line or a streamer leader, who cares? Just prevents that leader from getting twisted up. So an even better alternative to a tippet ring is the micro swivels, um, two sizes. You can find them at madriveroutfitters.com. Now, if you're tying your own leaders, uh, let me just give you real quick a uh, couple leader formulas. Let's make room for the whiteboard, and I'll give you a couple simple formulas and show you where to insert the tippet rings or the micro swivels. Okay, so a couple of basic, simple leader formulas um, that you might find useful, and I'll show you where to incorporate uh, the tippet rings or the uh, micro swivels. So let's say a basic nymph leader formula. Okay, so a couple of uh, basic leader formulas uh, that you might find useful and um, will incorporate a tippet ring and or a um, micro swivel. Uh, but let's, let's say a basic nymph leader formula. And, and I know this will be controversial, but yes, I use this basic nymph leader formula, whether I'm fishing an indicator and split shot or whether I'm tight lining or Euro nymphing. Uh, I might change the, the length of it, you know, depending on what line I'm using, but this basic formula, uh, I think you can play around with. And the first uh, component of that is the butt section is made of amnesia. So I'm going to go approximately three foot of 20 pound amnesia. And if you're not familiar with amnesia, it is a wonderful, wonderful material that can be found at uh, most good fly shops. Comes in a variety of diameters. 
Um, but I use the 20 pound test, especially if I'm using this with strike indicators and split shot. Uh, the 20 pound test, which I believe is 19 thousandths in diameter, it tends to work really well off a variety of line sizes, four, five, six, even seven. I'll do this same exact leader formula for steelhead. Um, then I'm gonna switch over to a limp and a much softer type material like Maxima Ultra Green. Everybody knows we are all Maxima fans around here. I was taught to use Maxima many years ago by uh, three of my mentors, Lefty Cray, Flip Pallet, and Kelly Gallup. And um, I've always used Maxima and still do to this day, even though it's not your fancy, dancy, expensive stuff. Um, and I'm simply going to put a two foot piece of, let's say, um, 10 or excuse me, 12 thousandths Maxima Ultra Green. And um, that the 12 thousandths is the 10 pound, by the way. Remember, you can't just use 10 pound, it's the 12 thousandths that's important here. And the stiffness or the lack thereof of the Maxima Ultra Green is what's important. And then I'll go two foot of say 10 thousandths. Again, Maxima Ultra Green. And to there, you can attach your tippet ring. And this is gonna make for a great butt and midsection. Um, and then I can attach pretty much whatever tippet. This formula right here would really be appropriate for say 3X, 4X, maybe even 5X on my tippet. And you can use whatever tippet you want. Some people like fluorocarbon. I tend to stick with the Maxima Ultra Green or say Orvis Super Strong. Uh, I really don't use fluorocarbon much, if at all, with the exception of salt water. So you're going to tie the tippet ring on to that 10 thousandths Maxima Ultra Green. You can tie up three, four, five, or six of these butt sections and you can have them in your kit, carry them in your leader wallet, and that's probably three seasons worth of nymph leaders right there. Let's say I was going down to something um, thinner on the tippet. Let's say I was going to be more like 5x or 6x on my tippet. You were fishing size 18 or 20 nymphs. I might change this to say, I might change this to 10 thousandths and 8 thousandths here. No big deal. If I was fishing, say, for steelhead and I wanted uh, more like 1x, 2x kind of tippet, this might be 13 thousandths and this might be 10 thousandths. It's a really, really simple formula. It works extremely well. You're going to love how it tuck casts. You're going to love how it drops down in the water. And it's not all this fancy stuff with the ciders. And, and that's fine if you want to get into it. But this is a simple, basic nymphing formula that works whether with an indicator and split shot or whether you're tight lining or Euro nymphing. And it does utilize the tippet ring, which allows you to build these butt sections. Um, and you're going to save a bunch of money and save a bunch of hassle of rebuilding leaders on the water. So one other quick formula, I believe that we've done this before, but most of you know that I fish streamers almost exclusively on a sinking tip fly line. Uh, a sink tip fly line, al although we still get this question almost every day here in the shop and via email, but I typically fish no more than a four foot leader off my sink tip fly line. Again, I'm gonna use Maxima ultra green okay maxima ultra green has the perfect stiffness um, for matching up to the tip of your fly line so you get the energy to flow from the tip of the fly line into the butt section but let's just say for example that i was fishing a um, six weight uh, sinking tip fly line on my six weight streamer rod i'm going to go a simple formula a two foot of uh, 17 thousandths Maxima Ultra Green. And that is 20 pound test in Maxima Ultra Green. Again, it's the 17 thousandths in the Maxima Ultra Green that makes this work, not 20 pound. You can't just go 
to a big box store and buy a 20 pound test because we don't know what the stiffness is and we don't know what the diameter is. So maximal ultra green 17 thousandths. I'm gonna go one foot of say 15 thousandths and that's where I'm going to now attach my uh, micro swivel. And now I can nail knot this or snell, if you've seen our videos on attaching your butt section to the tip of your fly line. If you want to go loop to loop, that's fine, but there's really no need to. And loops are just not good when you're trying to get stuff to sink. They're just not good off of a sinking tip fly line. So theoretically, that two foot butt section would be permanent. It may doggone well be there the life of that six weight sink tip fly line. That one foot section, if you tie on the micro swivel, there's no reason you're ever gonna cut into that one foot section. You're just gonna be adding a foot or so of say 12 thousandths tippet. I rarely go smaller than 12 thousandths on my tippet, which is of course bigger than zero X. You might call it negative one X. Zero X is 11 thousandths. Uh, or proposing 12 thousandths tippet here. Um, if you do fish smaller streamers, you might go down to 11 thousandths or 10 thousandths. You can still do that here, but I don't fish small streamers. I fish articulated big flies and therefore 12 thousandths or even 13 thousandths in some cases is the thinnest tippet that I'll go to. So there you go. Uh, I told you it would be more than just a few minutes uh, and I apologize for that but thanks for hanging in there thanks for watching and I hope um, that you do think about incorporating some tippet rings into uh, your basic trout fishing setups um, especially uh, that nymph leader whether you buy that nymph leader or tie your own and of course these micro swivels are excellent for bass fishing, streamer fishing, anytime you're contact fly fishing where you're making a nice straight cast and the rod comes down and you're gonna retrieve the fly. It can really help your tippet, uh, prevent your trip tippet from twisting uh, from the, the larger, more uh, wind resistant bugs. So again, thanks as always for watching. We really appreciate it. Be sure to subscribe and stay tuned because we've got a lot more coming at you. If you like this video, hit subscribe. It helps out a lot. And check out these videos. We think you might like them too.